Are you wearing your own cosmetics right now? I, I am. Well, it looks good. It looks good. I would never think to, you know, I don't, I'm bad at making decisions when it comes to, like, what colors to wear and that sort of thing. I yeah. would never, but it does look good, but you put such a dark, yeah. almost blood purpley colored on your lips yeah. with a bright red suit. It's a lot, but I think it's appropriate. It's fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you have your own there. I do, yeah. You get Now, what is the difference between lip gloss and uh, lipstick? Um, well, the lipstick is a stick. Um. Ah. <laughs> and this and is the more gloss of a gloss? Is in a little yeah, it's a gloss. That makes sense. There you go. <laughs> Do they have flavors or anything like that? That one smells really good. Can you eat it? I wouldn't. Um, yeah. But the, the plus side is that MAC Cosmetics always smell really good, too. And the reason we are mentioning this is because the proceeds go to uh, MAC AIDS uh, yeah. to benefit the. <laughs> now, you, um, you have such a huge following on Twitter. How many fans do you have on Twitter, followers? I don't, um, I don't remember. That's how many you have, don't you know. don't know. I could tell you the names of all my followers. Oh. So, <laughs> I was told it's like 30-something million followers. Something like followers, that. Something and like they that. seem to be right now, first of all, they have a name, which is really the ultimate compliment for a celebrity, yes. when your fans organize and give <laughs> themselves a name. Arianators. Arianators. It's yes. a little bit they of a kind mouthful. Of, they gave themselves that. Mm -hmm. I, um, I originally was calling them the Ariana Army, and then I was calling them Tiny Elephants. I don't know how that came about. <laughs> but it stuck for a while. And um, yeah, that's them. They're amazing. I think Ariana Army was better, actually, because Arianator sounds like something you'd buy at, like, the Auto Zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they seem to be very preoccupied now. <laughs> yeah. By I'm very busy. the uh, title of your album. Oh, and, my God. Like, so, this is happening. Some controversy yeah. there, right? Yes? Yeah, you know, a really long time ago, I was convinced that it was going to be called Moonlight because it's one of my favorite songs that we did for the album. And um, now, as we're wrapping things up, of course, I've sort of been writing and singing, and we're at the final, you know, stretch. But they like and Moonlight. There's a, yeah, they, I, well, I don't know. I think maybe. Oh. Maybe they just liked it because I liked it. I don't know if they really did or not. They might be not telling me the truth. I don't know. But, um... <laughs> Now there's this other song that has sort of like thrown me for a whirlwind and I love it so much and it's just sort of Which one which everything. song is that? Oh, if you say are they going to then get mad at you again uh, no, for changing it? No. <laughs> I I don't know if I want to share it yet because they haven't heard any of it. The I thing see. with Moonlight is I let them hear a little bit of it, but the thing with the other song is they haven't heard it. It sounds like you have to be careful. Like it sounds like you're living in fear of these no, people. No, no. <laughs> No, I just, I just care about them a lot. I, I see, OK. <laughs> right. I do have to be a little careful. You do have to be a little careful. <laughs> what happens care when they them. actually meet you? Do they lose their minds? Uh, well, there are three things that happen. They're either, they either come in very confidently, and they know what they want. They know what poses they want for our pictures. They know what they want. And uh -huh. they're like, yes, girl! They, they come in you know, uh -huh. with energy. Or they come in crying and can't say much. <laughs> Or there are the ones that are really, really quiet and their parents are kind of forcing them to be there. They're like, Hugger, you wanted this! You like her, Hugger! We're here, do it! Forcing them. And it's just... That's the worst one, right? Yeah. It's... Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like, it's okay, I don't have to. It's gonna be weird, though, is like all of a sudden, there you are for real. And yeah. then, yeah, and I can understand. Have but you done that awesome. with anyone? Is there anyone you've had that experience with? Yes, my all time favorite artist is Imogen Heap. I'm in love with her, I'm obsessed with her. She's incredible, she's a genius. And um, I've loved her forever. And there was an email that came in that was like, hey, Imogen heard that Ariana has a concert in you know, the UK and would like to have her over for dinner. And I was like, oh my god, this is not real. And I was on my way to her house, and it was a really long, long, long drive. And um, I thought that, eventually, I thought I was being catfished. <laughs> and I thought, it, I thought it really wasn't going to happen. Oh. I was like, she doesn't want to have dinner with me. This is all a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm driving to my death right now. I'm about to be murdered. And um, it ended up being her, and it was a pleasant surprise. Well, that is a good ending yeah. to the story. Yeah, I mean. It was great. And, I didn't die. And what did she make for you? Did she cook, or did yes, someone else cook? It was really nice. Um, I forget what the meal was. The whole night was really a blur. I was really shocked the whole time. I don't think I said anything. Yeah, and that, did you then drive home thinking, oh, I should have mentioned <laughs> this. I should have told her how much I like this. I was actually convinced that I had died, and that was like a dream. And that was the, uh, yeah. the pinnacle for you. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Are you sad that the video is over? Well, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you will never be sad again, ever.